So we are still at Ishara and there is one more thing that this scam has to offer that is truly unique. We've been trying to do this experience for about three days now, but tonight we are risking it all to experience something now or never. special. Now or never. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So welcome to the star bed. I'm gonna give you a quick tour, but this is actually the only star bed in the Mara. Let's go check it out. So the way that this star bed is actually laid out, it's kind of on two platforms, but one big platform on stilts. So the first floor area is a bathroom, an outside concept bathroom. So let's go see this. So as you can see, it's a full bathroom, big two, even equipped with robes. And here's the shower. So you still get the fresh air breeze as you're getting your shower. Okay, so let's go see the top. And honestly, this is the first time I've seen it. Um, oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Wow. This is like the perfect, rustic, romantic setting I have ever seen. So you have the bed here. I hear there's an electric blanket on there too, so you will stay nice and warm. We'll test that out later. Um, and we even are gonna have dinner up here. So we have a dinner set up, as well as if you look there, we'll actually be able to see the sun down as well. And now that the filming is done, we're bringing the rest of the manis up because you cannot get rid of manis this easy. setup is the ultimate romantic date night. You even have supper up here on a platform. It is just stunning. But for example, if you have family visiting you all the way from Canada, they can accommodate you for more than two people for meals. what we wanted. Most of us wanted the duck, we got that. Someone has a gnocchi, but then we have one vegetable, what is it called again? Uh, Parmigiano? Aubergine Parmigiana. We had to try it, so we got one for the table to share. So that way we can give you a review of all three things. Good night. So my dad and sister just went back to their tent for the night and we, Tracy and I, are gonna sleep in this very nice and comfy bed under the star and it's gonna be quite a night. And just so you know, if you ever book the star bed here at Ishara, it actually comes with a tent. So if in the middle of the night it starts raining, at least you can go somewhere for some extra shelter. Time to get ready for bed after a fantastic supper. And we even saw some stars. Rainy season, but there's still a couple stars out. So we just got changed into our super comfy warm robes. It makes the air feel so warm. Um, and we're gonna turn off all the lights, crawl in bed, see if we can see some stars. And other than that, we'll see you in the morning at wake up call. So one more thing before we go to bed is they actually have electric blankets in the bed. And they're actually two different systems. So if she's yeah. cold, then she can turn her side yeah. on and I can leave my side off or vice versa. Because so you're always hot and I'm always cold. That's pretty cool. So 
no matter the temperature, because <laughs> sometimes the mar in the middle of the night can get cold. Yes. You won't get cold. You'll no. be just nice and toasty. <laughs> Now the sunrise is slowly coming up. It's we beautiful. We just got some little yogurt and fruits. And all that good stuff. So we're gonna sit here and watch the sunrise. It's a good morning. So we are now enjoying our freshly delivered breakfast with the extra manis that came for breakfast once again. <laughs> the food is really, really good. Thank you very much. slept fantastic last night. I highly recommend mm -hmm. doing the stair bed if you if it's available for you to do for at least a night. You it's super romantic too as a couple. With the lights, the oh, candles man. everywhere. You can hear the, the animals stars. more. Yeah we heard a lot of hippos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really really nice. I also slept amazing. I mean yeah. I have an aura ring and my app says that I slept good. So you know that's that's actually a proof. That's yeah. not just me saying it. And um, for those Oh, sorry. No, no, I, I was think... just going to say the fresh air, just the ambiance oh, yeah. and everything. It's like a 10 out of 10 experience yeah. for sure. And for those who are kind of on the fence of it, um, they actually do. So this camp is unfenced, as we've mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But the Starbed actually does have a small one wire fence just around the platform. And you have an Ascari specifically just for yeah. the star bed yeah so there's people around it's all good you're not left totally by yourself. safe and again like i said yesterday if for some reason it starts raining you yeah, do have a yeah, normal yeah. tent where you can uh, go for extra shelter yeah and like we woke up at 6 a.m and the sky was so red the, with the sunrise sun was a 10 out of 10 Man. it was beautiful so I highly, highly recommend Ashara, yeah. but I also highly, highly recommend this specific bed. experience. You're going to love it. And again, yeah. it's the only one in the Mara and really one of the only one in Kenya. So it, it, it's a must do here. Yes. Bye bye, Starbed. See you next time. Thank you so much. So it is time for us, sadly, to leave the star bed and to leave Ashara, but I'm sure we will be back because even after doing 27 safari camps, we still think still that Ashara the is the best. Yes. So I'm going to make sure to link down below the other two videos that we've made about this place so we can you can see more about it. And otherwise, see you guys in the next one.